Hi guys, welcome to Nurses Handbook and today I will be telling you about some of the nursing considerations or the nursing responsibilities when your patient is on a diuretic therapy. So our first nursing responsibility is that before administering the diuretics, assess for the cautions and contraindications in your patient like whether your patient is having any hepatorenal diseases, glucose tolerance abnormalities, drug allergies, pre-existing fluid and electrolyte disturbances, etc. And why there is a need to be cautious and look for such contraindications? It is just to prevent any untoward complications. Our second nursing responsibility is to administer the diuretics in the morning to prevent nocturia. If we administer it during late evenings and at night time, it may disturb the patient's sleep. And in cases where your patient is bedridden or unconscious, put a urinary catheter for the patient. Our third nursing consideration is to maintain an intake and output record of the patient to identify the appropriate response to the drug therapy. Our fourth nursing responsibility is to daily monitor the weight of the patient and to monitor the serum electrolytes of the patient, that is, electrolyte depletion of potassium, magnesium and sodium and for electrolyte elevation, especially potassium, if your patient is receiving a potassium sparing agent and we have to also look for electrolyte elevation of calcium levels if your patient is on thiazides. Our fifth nursing responsibility is to monitor the serum blood urea nitrogen levels, creatinine and uric acid levels. If the blood urea nitrogen and creatinine levels are high, a renal impairment is suspected and it should be notified to the physician as early as possible. On the other hand, closely watch out for uric acid levels too as thiazide diuretics causes hyperuricemia leading to the risk of developing gout in the patient. Our sixth nursing responsibility is to monitor the pulse rate and blood pressure of the patient so that we can make sure that our patient does not become hypotensive from dehydration. The seventh nursing responsibility is to check for the signs of dehydration by examining the skin turgor and mucous membrane of your patient. Also check for signs of volume depletion such as postural hypotension, dizziness, imbalance etc. in your patient. Our next nursing responsibility is to monitor the glucose intolerance in patients with and without diabetes mellitus especially who are receiving the thiazide diuretics because thiazide diuretics have a tendency to lower the insulin levels and thus it raises the blood glucose levels in the patient. Our ninth nursing responsibility is to monitor for potential ototoxicity in patients especially those with renal failure who are receiving the loop diuretics. Our 10th nursing responsibility is to advise our patients to avoid prolonged exposure to the sun because of the risk of photosensitivity. Our next nursing responsibility is to advise our patients, especially who are on thiazides and loop diuretics, to increase the dietary intake of potassium, like they can have dried apricots, bananas, potatoes, watermelons, etc. to their diet. But on the other hand, the patients who are on potassium sparing diuretics should be advised that they should avoid potassium rich food. Thank you for watching. For more videos and updates like this, do like, share and subscribe to our channel Nurses Handbook.